Welcome once again to Vlog Vlog. I am your host. Today, I'll be talking about my experience acclimating the barn cats. Honestly, it was a little bit of a mess. Their acclimation period was a little over two weeks, which I know is a bit short, but there were other considerations. I've heard various acclimation periods from different people ranging from two weeks all the way to six weeks. The rescue I got them from recommended two to three weeks, and while I would have liked to do a longer period, I just don't think it would have been fair to the cats. Lord Megatron, in particular, had already been in the shelter for a number of months. I just didn't think it was fair for him to have to be in the crate for any longer than absolutely necessary. Starscream is a feral kitten, and I didn't want to have to have him spend such a long time in a crate. Getting them into the crates was a bit of a challenge. With Starscream, I was able to fit the entire travel cage into the crate and open it up. With Megatron, he finally came out after some coaxing. At the start of their acclimation, both cats were both really scared and they didn't want to eat. I had them set up with food, water, electric fan and stuff. I tried setting them up with some cat beds, but the enclosures that the shelter let me borrow were just too small for my cat beds. I tried using a towel for their cat beds and while it worked, Lord Megatron wasn't too thrilled. I ended up buying them both these fabric cubes to help give them a place to stay and hide. They seemed to work a lot better and it got Megatron to stop sleeping in his litter box. Their recommendation for feeding them was a mixture of wet food and dry food. I fed them the same dry food that they had at the shelter, and I got them some canned food as well. I found that they were more likely to eat in the evening, so I'd give them their wet food in the evening with free choice dry food during the course of the day. The kitten took up to eating fairly quickly. He didn't eat a lot at first, but he slowly ate more over the first couple of days. Then, before I knew it, Starscream was eating everything that I gave him. Megatron, on the other hand, was just not having it. He just wouldn't eat. He seemed depressed to me, and I tried everything I could to get him to eat. The dry food and wet food wasn't working, so I moved on to anchovies, which didn't work. I tried tuna as well to no avail. I also tried some of that liquid cat treat stuff. And at the suggestion of the shelter, I tried some turkey baby food and I also tried some cheap cat food. I know all this stuff isn't the healthiest, but not eating anything is worse. They were just as baffled as I was because he was eating fine at the shelter. I was really worried that he might starve and I almost gave up and just let him loose. Nothing seemed to work and after speaking to the shelter and another feral cat rescue, I tried a bigger crate. They mentioned that he may just not like the small confines of the crate that they let me borrow. I, it would take a few more days for me to borrow a bigger crate so I just bought my own. I ended up buying the biggest crate that I could buy in a store. It's an extra large dog crate, and while it seemed to fit all of Megatron's stuff a lot better, I'm pretty happy with it, and I think it will work a lot better for the next time that I have to acclimate a barn cat. However, Lord Megatron wouldn't go into the new crate no matter what I tried. So I just moved all of his stuff into the new crate and let him decide to do it on his own. I was a little worried that he might escape, but he made the transition overnight. He seemed much happier at his new crate, and most importantly, he finally ate something. Every day, he kept doing better and eating more of his food. Before I knew it, he was eating all of his food. It was a huge relief for me that he was finally eating and both cats seemed to be doing well. Megatron wasn't depressed anymore 
and he even scratched me when I was cleaning his litter box. Which really hurt. But at least I knew he wasn't sad anymore. He was just mad. Now that we're done with this acclimation business, it's time to finally get ready to release the cats. Honestly, I'm a bit worried that they may not come back. But I guess that's just part of the deal. They're wild cats, and they're free to do what they want. Even if they were in the crate for the full six weeks or even longer, they may still not come back when they're finally released. Regardless of what happens, it's been a really interesting experience. I've never I've only ever had house cats. I'm used to being able to pet them and just be their buddy. These guys are very different, and I'll be interested to see if they decide to stick around. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.